In um, original Hebrew, Aramaic, Sumerian, Babylonian, Egyptian, Incan, Aztecan, Mayan, the creator is the sun, and the sun in the sky has its own body of light that looks just like us. Right? In ancient Aramean text and Hebrew, <laughs> Allah, Israel Elohim, <laughs> it's very interesting. The sun is nice, but it, 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 in physics, in physics, the Creator. Of your of your flesh, it actually actually has its own body, look oh, just like oh. you. That exists outside of time. It exists outside of time. There would be no there would be no Muslims. There'd be no Hebrews. There'd be no Christians. No Catholics. No Hindus. No nothing. There'd be nobody. Nobody would exist without it. It's so fascinating. <laughs> every member of every religion, spirituality, <laughs> and organization is created in its image. So weird. And even... I think is weirder. Most of the world, well, not, yeah, not everybody can see it, and the ones that have devices that allow them to see it hide it from their flock. They're considered slaves. In, in real life, it, today in, in Christianity, it, uh, Islam, and Judaism, as a corrupt member of religion, you're allowed to hide that stuff from your flock uh, and keep them as slaves. If their own ego or ignorance, their own temptations lead them down that path, which is it's a very interesting thing to think about. At churches today, they have slaves. At Christian churches today, they have human slaves. They farm for money. In real life, a Christ sin, keeping human slaves, you farm for money by hiding the devices and information that birthed their religion from them, so they have to pay you. A constant stream of money. Slavery. Anyways, I gotta go. Peace out.